My name is Arnold Hoyle. I was an E3, E4, which is BT3. Uh, worked as a boiler technician. I worked uh, primarily in what they call the oil lab. I tested in uh, stored uh, water and fuel oil, and uh, we treated it, chemically treated the water, and um, stripped out the water out of uh, oil tanks to make sure that it was pure oil. We had to run tests on it to make sure of the purity. And I guess if you got a bubble of water in it, it would put the fires out, and then you'd be sitting there dead in the water. The oil we used was basically raw oil. And the only thing they run it through, before we get it, they run it through strainers to get the sand and stuff out of it. And when it get aboard ship, from setting in the tanks and vibrations and going back and forth, the water would kind of drop down because water's lighter than, heavier than oil. And so we would, before we put the oil for burning, they'd have small tanks for uh, usage for burning it. We would have to pump this oil and the sludge and the water and stuff out of the bottom and run tests on it, make sure that, uh, run it through a centrifuge machine to make sure there was no more water in it. Once it was clear, then we could use it for the burning. That would uh, fire up the boilers and uh, heat the hot, the water in the steam. And we ran 600 pound boilers. And uh, we had four of them that, most time we only had two online unless we wanted a lot of power. We could run 18 knots with two boilers. And if we wanted to um, go faster to get, you know, a lot of times we'd get a call that we needed support over here or over there, we'd fire up the other two boilers and run four boilers and we could get 30, 31 knots out of it. Yeah, so. Yeah. When the Madison Turner Joy got shot at over in Vietnam, we was uh, sitting in Yakuska, Japan, getting ready to uh, head to the States. So they held one o'clock Reveille and they said bring on maximum oil and water and stores on the ship as soon as everything's on, we're pulling out of here. So I took on 700,000 gallons of oil and 400,000 gallons of water with a drunk crew. Never spilt a drop. <laughs> oh yeah, they, was, they were in the beach getting ready to uh, pull out in the morning to head for the States and they would um, naturally be like a typical sailor <laughs> and uh, when they, uh, because of the emergency the show patrol went and rounded everybody up and ran them back to the ship and so they all come aboard and everybody was drunk but we had a job to do and we did it. So we pulled out of port something like five o'clock in the morning, captain called down, we want maximum steam and we need to Fastest speed we can get out of this thing. Do what you got to do, except for blowing it up. So we'd go down there, we'd gag the safeties and choke down the last one. And we knew how high we could bring it. We got 37 knots out of it. And we later found out that the book, that this went to the book, it would only go 34. But we got down there and chased those PT boats around. They were Chinese boats. People didn't realize in the States that the Chinese were involved, but they were. We, we never pulled into any, we had a um, officers meeting one time where several ships got together, but the men weren't allowed to go over. They had the ships tied up together and they, the, the captains and would all get together and have their meeting and then pull, we'd pull back out.